Hey, what's up good people? David Taub here, co-creator of nextlevelguitar.com and I am so excited to tell you about my newest product that uh, I recently created called Strumming in Rhythm. It's a killer three DVD set over six hours of video lessons that's going to get your strumming and your rhythm to the next level in the fastest and most efficient manner. You know, I think one of the most challenging aspects of playing guitar at the beginning is really getting the hang of strumming and rhythm and changing chords. And in this three DVD set, you know, I have tons and tons of lessons that is going to teach you all about not just strumming and not just rhythm, but it's a total course, okay, and how to incorporate this and how to get you to start to feel these rhythms, feel these strums internally. So eventually you'll be able to play any strum pattern just by listening to it. I teach you how to take strum patterns, how to break them down so they're so much more easily digestible and how to translate them into making music. Rhythm is, is what gives music its life's blood, you know, and music is, is, is more than just about, you know, chords and notes. It's also about rhythm and meter. And we spend a lot of time on that. And I teach you how to understand strum patterns rhythmically from a rhythmic standpoint. And that's something that's usually glazed over in most instructionals. And the reason I do this is because I want you to eventually be able to play any strum. You know, most instructionals will show you one strum and they won't explain, they'll just say, do this, and you learn one pattern. Well, what good is that? I teach you techniques and methods so you understand it, so you can assimilate it into your own internal clock, your own rhythm, and then you could make up an endless array of patterns, and no pattern is going to throw you off because you're going to understand it rhythmically. That's why I spend a lot of time on it and not just glaze over it, but it's an invaluable tool that you're going to use throughout your musical and guitar lifetime. And one and two are going to be downstrokes. One and two. And that's where you'll hear the metronome. Click and click. One and two and three and four. Notice the four again is a downstroke. So in this particular pattern, you have a downstroke on the one, the two, and the four. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, just so you could feel these beats. Let that arm go. And you notice I'm bending at the elbow. So think of it like a hinge, like your elbow's on this hinge, right? And you're swinging it like that. That's the motion, not too much wrist. This one starts off with straight eighth notes. Down, up, down, up, down. And then down, up, down, up, down, and then a down. So go down, up, down, up, down, down. And then the last part is going to be an up, 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 down, up, down. Up, 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 down, up, down. And again, at first let's do two times through each strum pattern for each chord. All right, so it's gonna be D, G, E minor, and A. And I go over tons and tons of practice tips so you know exactly what to practice. This DVD series is full of practice progressions so you are practicing things that sound musical and we're not talking about you know mary mary had a little lamb or you know, twinkle twinkle little star we're talking about you know playing chords you know in a modern type way that sounds musical and sounds like songs and sounds like music right and then eventually you'll be able to play songs because you'll have the timing down i teach you all about rhythm, quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes. In this series you'll learn how to use a metronome. I have a bunch, a big bunch of metronome lessons to really dial your playing in. And if you've never used a metronome before, I have a lesson in what to look for in a metronome, how to buy it, the differences between metronomes, the kinds of things you want to look for that'll make your guitar journey easier and faster, yeah. right? Now, let's try it with that four chord change. G, E minor, C, and D. Okay, get that foot tapping. The head bobbing. Yeah, man. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Two measures per chord. One, two, three, four. This, this 
course also has ear training lesson where um, I start to teach you how to pick off strums by ear and how to start identifying certain chords and certain things in a strum so where eventually you won't have to write out strum patterns, right? You, you could take the downs and ups and throw them out the window and just play by feel, by ear. And uh, that's where you want to get to. That takes time to develop your ear, but I kind of start you off on that ear training journey. And all through this DVD, I write all the chords out on on-screen text so you'll see them. And I also write all the strum patterns out and, uh, and with on-screen text. Because at first, everyone needs to learn by writing out the patterns and following along. And then eventually down the road, you know, you, 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 we wean you. You want to get weaned off the strum patterns and work more freewheeling. And that's kind of the direction we are pushing you in. But everything is written out in on-screen text. And I show you how to break the strums down. So you could take these lessons and once you complete them and you're on your own, you'll know the techniques right that you'll be able to continue moving forward in your guitar journey i also have a lesson where i give you a lot of chord changing tips and techniques because chord changing and strumming are kind of related in the fact that you know if you're trying to strum in a pattern and you can't change chords yet you know obviously going from one chord to the next you're going to fall out of time so there's a direct relationship between changing chords and strumming and I teach you how to power through that and I give you a lot of tips and lesson on you know on chord changing tips and how to practice it properly how to practice you know these chord changing mechanics and techniques and ways and I give you progressions and long progression practice progressions that really get these skills honed in this DVD set is not just strumming, it's all about rhythm and I teach you how to embellish your rhythms, how to take strum patterns and add things to them or take things away, working on upstrokes because a lot of students have trouble with upstrokes, right? Throws you off. How to get those incorporated in your playing, how to change strumming or strum pattern within a set of chords so you're not playing the same pattern all the time but you're mixing it up and changing the pattern as you're going along. It's really interesting and it sounds really good, you know, one of the, another thing is you, you don't want to always be playing the same pattern, same thing all the time. Then you kind of get bored, everything sounds the same. So I teach you how to constantly push you yourself and constantly mix things up so your playing sounds fresh and different. And you learn all that throughout this DVD series. And you'll learn so much more throughout this series. I teach you how to get your foot tapping and give you tips on, you know, how to connect that with everything else to help your timing. I teach you about, you know, um, different rhythm playing and different ways to embellish using hammer-ons and pull-offs and, and, and adding licks to your strums and just all kinds of different ways to get your strumming and rhythm to that next level. If you have any questions, certainly email us at thenextlevelguitar at yahoo.com. I know you'll enjoy this set. I'm David Taub. Take care. Stay positive. You know, your playing is an evolution. You follow a structured plan like we have, and you will get there. I guarantee it. Take care. Rock on.